I don't like that it starts- Oh, there it is! Bam! See? Hey everyone, I'm Army Gaming. welcome back to my channel, and welcome to Monster Legends. So anyone that's new to Monster Legends, if you don't know about relics, basically relics are these equipments that you can equip on your monsters to make them even stronger, not in terms of stats, but it'll allow you to either recover stamina, recover life, maybe you give a shield for your team, maybe you take less damage from specific elements, maybe you can drain enemy stamina, there's a lot of stuff the relics can do. Most monsters can hold two different types of relics, sometimes a monster will hold the same relic, and then we're talking common monsters that can hold only one relic, but that doesn't matter. So, with that being said, the only time, this is important, because the only time you should ever level up your relics is when we have this pop-up message in the game. During this time, anytime you fuse relics, you get 20% more experience than usual. So essentially, you're going to use up one-fifth less the cost to level up your relics. So this is the only time I recommend for players to level up relics. So prior to this, the only thing you should be doing with your relics is hoarding your relics. So if I go into my account and scroll to the right, Take a look at how many relic chests I have. I have a ton of them. I have 383 bronze relic chests. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to open all of them. And we're going to talk about my favorites just for anyone new to the channel. Healing Amulet, 15 of those. That's actually one of the better relics in the game, especially if you're starting off. It recovers a lot of HP for your monsters. So if you get yourself a Healing Amulet, that is one. For newer players, that I would recommend ranking up. Up until the recent release of the, the Stronger Amulets, I would say a lot of top players would still run the Healing Amulet because it was so powerful. But now that we have the Mythic Monsters with their crazy HP stats, the Healing Amulet isn't as usable, I would say, for the Mythic Monsters. But if you have Legendary Monsters or you have low-level Mythic Monsters, Healing Amulet is still a really good Bronze Relic you can utilize. And then let me see if I get it or maybe I already got it and I was speaking over it. The Energizer Amulet, it's a Bronze Relic, it's also a really good one because this could recover your stamina when you have no stamina, so that's another good one investing in. I think those two are typically the ones I would recommend for players, or those two might be like the only ones I recommend for players. Everything else is essentially just fusion material. The, the Banner Relics are bad, the Armor Relics are bad, the Bronze, okay, I'm talking about Bronze right now. Yeah, you can pretty much get rid of them, and look, oh, no, not that's the Grieve Amulet. I'm getting a bunch of Silvers, that's nice. So typically what happens when I open up a bunch of Bronze chests, Nice, I got myself a golden relic. It is possible to pull a diamond out of a bronze. It is possible to pull a gold. Hey, I'm getting a lot of gold. It is possible to get silvers, as you've been seeing. And I got a diamond relic. Yes, I love it. And I don't think I have that one yet on this account. So we're going to cycle back and check it out. So if you haven't opened up your relics, now is a good time to open up your relics. I got a good amount of gold from here, as well as that diamond. That is very nice. Oh my goodness, this is awesome. Here, let's go straight. I think that was Italica's Banner. So Talica, uh, Talica's Banner, at the start of the battle, increases allies maximum life by 14, 5, 60 at level 1. This is actually a really good relic, I would say, especially right now in the meta that involves legendary monsters and mythic monsters. You, The, the thing about legendary monsters is they have the potential to be one shot, they can be OTK'd by an enemy mythic monster. So if you can start the game off with a Talicus Banner that increases your monster's max life. So this is a permanent, see how it says in parentheses forever? This is a permanent life increase. This could mean the difference between your monster getting OTK'd and not getting OTK'd. Especially if you can capitalize on this by giving your monster like life rune potentially. If you can have a life regen, they're recovering even more life. So don't count out the Talicus Banner. I think this banner in the current meta is going to increase in usability. And I mean, even even the fact that it can just increase Mythic Monster's stats and make them even stronger than they are, that's pretty awesome. So I am hyped that I already got a diamond out of this and a ton of other great relics. It seems like the drop rates are a lot better than they used to be. Because you can watch back to any of my previous videos. One time I opened up like a thousand bronze relics and not even did I get this many gold and silver. So this is pretty darn amazing. Alright, let's see if I can pull anything from the silver relic chests. I think I have like, what, 42 of them. That is a nice number. So the first one is a charging banner. This is still a pretty dominant relic, I would say. At the start, at, when the turn starts, if any ally stamina is below 25%, 25 points of stamina is given to all allies. Like, if a monster has extra turn skills, you can utilize this so easily. Xyla is the best example. My goodness, I don't know how this golden relic has three uses. Like, I would understand two uses, one use, but the fact that it can activate three times is ridiculous. Whatever, let's open up all of our relics and see what we can get. Major Vitality, Ensis, Recharging Banner, oh, Fusion Material, Fusion Material. This one is one I like. Um, Fusion Material, Pestilence Trap is... Pestilence Trap used to be really good. It decreases um, life at the start of the battle. If you ever want to uh, punk on your friend, do a friendly battle. Put the restrictions to level 4 runes and get a Pestilence Trap and you'll automatically win the battle. 
But, um, I mean, now I don't think it's as effective as it used to be. Um, but yeah, <laughs> a bunch of silver relics. Fusion material, and hey, I ended off with an Oblation Trap. Not, not bad. I actually love the Oblation Trap. It's one of my favorite relics, even though it's a gold one. And yes, there's a better diamond relic of the trap, Nebuline's Trap. But unfortunately, I don't have it on this account. And I don't know if it's even craftable, but I also don't like crafting. Alright, so that's the silver. And then let us do our 11. I think I'm going to go one by one on these. So just to build suspense, there's only 10 of them. So I started the game off with an exhausting mask. That's a good relic. When you get attacked, you drain enemy stamina. And a diamond! Nadal staff! Okay, after damaging with a skill, if target stamina is below 50%, deals 3,400, um, 3,435 points of nature damage to damaged enemies and decreases their speed. Who? I'm not the biggest fan of speed manipulation relics. It's been a long time since I've used the speed manipulation relic. I'd have to test out what this really does to the turn order, but I'm not a big fan of it. Let's see what else we can get. Um, let's see what else we can get. So two diamonds already, not bad at all. Another charging banner. Let's see what else we can pull. Let's see what else. We got an Altus's amulet. When the turn starts, if word life is below 50%, heals wear by 19,845 points. So this is pretty awesome because I, I'm constantly having to remove my amulet from Ragnarok. So now that I can keep it on Ragnarok, that is awesome, and I can also give it to other monsters as well. Another charging banner. Let's see what else. We have like, what, five more to go? Heavy duty armor. And let's see, revenge staff. This one, after being damaged by a skill, 40 points of stamina is removed from the attacker. So if you get attacked, you drain stamina from whatever monster attacks you. And an ice trap. This is not one of my favorite relics. After being damaged by skill of Warriors, life is below 75, deals damage. Relics to deal damage, in my personal opinion, if they just deal damage, they're not that effective. You want a relic that can drain enemy stamina, that can recover your stamina, that can give your team a shield, give your team HP. That's what you're going after. And the Kinetic Amulet. So, overall, I pulled three diamond relics. Not bad. To be completely honest, I kind of expected to pull one or two diamonds from the Golden Relic Chest. It seems like certain, rel certain Golden Relic Chests have been dropping diamonds so that's pretty darn nice let's see let us sort by diamond and let's see where are my newer ones the, the level zeros oh wait look i already have oh did i have two already and they're level one wow all right cool so one thing i like to do is i like to lock all of my diamonds it's been a while since i locked them i like to lock them all because i don't want to accidentally give them up as fusion material now, even the ones that are bad, like Frostbite Amulet, realistically, I don't think I would ever use this. But I'm still going to lock it because, I don't know, um, if you guys know me, I just like saving, I like hoarding. I feel like there will come a time when something is, for some reason, more valuable. I don't like fusing, or sorry, I don't like crafting. The problem with crafting, in my personal opinion, is that it is too expensive. It literally costs you four diamond relics to make one diamond relic. Now, of course, you could pick the one you want. But I, I don't know, I'm just not a big fan of that. I, I would personally recommend you guys to just buy the Relic Category Chest. I think that is a better investment. And that's how you can pull your Diamond Relics. Oh, I have Tuna Buddhist Armor? That's awesome. Okay, yeah, there's going to be some stuff I'm going to be leveling up in this video, for sure. Telling these Mask is locked. I think is everything locked. This needs to be locked as well. And there's nothing wrong with having duplicates because... Oriol's Essence, this is actually one Relic that I had to craft because I couldn't get it. And potentially reviving your monster, especially when you put it on a Wormlad or on a Gracon, that could mean the difference between winning or losing. Not to mention in Team Wars, it could mean the difference between getting three coins and not getting um, any coins, you know, depending on which monster gets resurrected. So with that being said, um, what I recommend for anyone out there wondering is the Team Shop, and I personally recommend not, I don't even recommend the Diamond Relics. I think they're too expensive. You get a random relic, right? If you, if you buy one of these, you get a random relic. And as much as I would love, like, a Pump Seed Staff, as much as I would love a Zyron's Essence, a Yamada's Essence, those that I don't have, honestly, I personally think you should invest in these kinds of relics right here. Like, this is what I'm after, Nabuline's Trap. I think you should invest in the Category Chest because, although it's not the same, honestly, look at the cost difference. This costs, like, 5,000 War Medals. I don't I don't take really into, con into consideration the War Coins because... Yeah, you pay an extra 1,000 War Coins, but really the War Medals, those are the hard ones to get. So what I recommend is almost for three times the cost, with what you can buy one Diamond Relic, you can buy three Category Chest Relics, and I just feel like in these three Category Chest Relics, you have a better chance of getting a Diamond, and even if you don't get a Diamond, you have a lot of Fusion Material. So that's my recommendation. So 
just to prove to you guys how how adamant I am about getting this, I am gonna go ahead and purchase the essence relic. So that has Iron's essence, Yamato's essence. See, I'm missing both of these diamonds, and I wouldn't mind another Uriel's essence. So let's see what I can pull from this. So again, my recommendation are the category essence chests. So great healing, major healing, major regen, major vitality. Major S, um, last health essence, restoring essence, and a regeneration essence. So keep in mind, when you open these, you get one of them guaranteed to be a gold or a diamond. So it is possible you get more than one gold. It is possible that you get more than one diamond, but I don't like that it starts... Oh, there it is. Bam, see? So just look. I could have bought... Nice, I'm so excited right now. I could have bought... Oh my gosh, this is great. This is this is so great. Look at that. After being damaged by skill, if any allies life is below 50%, heals targets. Yes. Um, I could have bought this for 2,000 war coins and 5,000 war medals. I decided to buy two essence chests. It only cost me 2,000 war coins and 3.6, and I got a diamond. Not to mention, I got a gold, and I got silvers, and I got fusion material. So my recommendation is always, this is the best investment in the game. In my personal opinion, in the team shop, the category relic chests. That's, and of course... The level 7 runes. I don't recommend the level 8 runes because they cost war medals and war medals are expensive. So, dang guys, this is good. I got like 4 different diamonds. Alright, with that being said, let's level up some relics. So, I think the first one I want to level up is that Yamada's Essence. And again, this is why I don't... And again, this is why I don't craft relics. Watch, just to show you guys how crazy it is to craft a relic. Only missing... Let's say I wanted to craft Hiram's Shield, which is a fantastic relic. And let me just autofill. Look at all that fusion material. Select relics to fuse for crafting. 459 relics are being used. A couple of my gold, a lot of my, all of my silver that I have in storage. Look at that. All of the silvers and then all of the bronze. That is not worth it in my opinion. Again, I'd rather just save up team war coins, um, war medals, and then just purchase the relic category chest. So what I recommend with your extra relics is fusion material. All right, that should all be fusion material. Where is my relic? All right. So we are going to level you up, and this I don't mind, I am going to autofill. Now one thing you are going to notice is the huge, huge cost. I'm going to take it to level 30. Alright, look, it's 9 million. Look at all of this bronze. It's 9 million to level this up all the way to level 30. That is crazy. And yeah, you're definitely going to need a lot of food. Um, you're going to need a lot of relics for sure. So look at that, just level up slowly but slowly. And I think you can skip it if you want. You can just exit out. And look, it is maxed out. Now my targets would heal by 30,000 points. So Yamada Essence at level 30. I like that. Uriel's Essence, I would like to max this out. But I'm going to keep it at level 30 for now. Let me see if there's anything else. Talika's Banner, I'm not going to focus on that right now. I think Alsa's Amulet is what I want to do. I have one at 40. Let me see how far I can get the other one. So autofill, autofill, autofill. You know what? Let me see if I can max it out. I might be able to max it out. Ooh, level... 40 and it uses up all of my silvers um it uses up all of my silvers however i don't want to do the pestilence trap because i still want there's something about me that just wants to max out my pestilence traps so i'm gonna keep those there but everything else pretty much fusion material select select and 27 million all right look at everything that's going to be used to level up Alta's amulet all the way but we're going to do it. And this always happens. The game crashes. But don't worry. If the game crashes for you, it does get leveled up. You don't lose your resources, hopefully. And yeah, it all works out. It all works out. But I think this has been a pretty good video showcasing why I recommend the team category chest, the team shop category chest over anything else. Definitely don't get the monsters. Don't get the level 8 runes. The level 7 runes I'm okay if you get. But definitely the, ca the, the relic category chest. And then, again, only level up during this time. Don't level up when you don't get that 20% boost. Imagine if there wasn't a 20% boost. Oh my goodness, it would be even more, much more expensive. Oh look, actually, they did not level up. So I still need to level it up. So Altus' amulet, let's go ahead and level you up again. So we are gonna autofill everything all the way to level 40. I am so glad there is an autofill option. Otherwise, imagine selecting every relic one at a time. Oh my goodness. So we're gonna remove two of these. We're gonna remove this and we're gonna remove that. I think it was just two. And we're going to select this and this and level up and look through them real quick. I'm pretty sure everything is fine and everything is fine. Ideally, I want to have everything maxed out, one copy of everything maxed out. 
So one of these days I am going to sit myself down and say, Armor, you have to level up your Bronze Relic as much as you don't want to. Just level it up so you have one copy. Because, I don't know, I feel like there's it's always possible. I'm always thinking like long term. Like what if Social Point does an event where only Bronze Relics are allowed? Or what if Social Point does an event where only Silver Relics are allowed? Like I'm going to be at a disadvantage if I didn't prepare. So what I really should do is one of these times level up one copy of every single Relic. So that's on my to-do list and then I just lock it and I never worry about it again. But for now, yeah, I'm focusing on my Diamonds. So I have two Ultis and Amulet maxed out, excited about that. What else do I want to do? Tiger's Trap I don't really care for that much. I do have the Mantis Claw Trap. After being damaged by a skill, if Warrior's Life is below 50%, removes 139 points of stamina. I'm actually going to level this up because I think I'm in a situation now with these new Mythic Monsters where I do need them to drain a little more stamina. Because Mythic Monsters, as you very well may know, Mythic Monsters actually have a ton of stamina. So I think we can take it to what, level 25, 174? I'm cool with that. So I'm cool with that. Let me see what other, what golden relics can I see how I have a lot of the healing amulets locked. Um, I don't know. I, I love the healing amulet. So see, I even have four leveled up. So I, I, like I said, I'm, I'm going to max out. I don't know why I keep the healing amulet. I really don't need it anymore. Uh, let's see. What can I get rid of? I'm also on a quest to level up the golden relics. So I think I'll just keep them for now. But yeah, guys, only level up during this and... Hopefully this video was helpful, hopefully it was informative, at least the Relic Chest opening, hopefully that showed you guys why I love the Relic Category Chest. But with that being said, that's going to be for this video. Thank you very much for watching, let me know in the comments below what Relic do you think is the best. Thank you very much and remember to subscribe.